this is your boy laddie boy with a new tutorial um this time i'm doing xr18 for live streaming as well as performing in front of an audience and setting up for live streaming while doing a performance um for this tutorial i'll be using reason you can see i have reason here with my tracks all my instrument tracks are here and i'm selecting some of these tracks that would be playing and the outputs are going directly to my xr which you will see here the way i have this set up in my preferences let me move this around for a while. Um, all my outputs are set up to go to from 1 right to 18. So my reason software is sending all my tracks that I'm using to the XR18. However, in the XR18, I'm only capturing actually drums orchestra hit and one piano bass percussion lead synth um there's extra instruments and reason but for the time being i'm not for this tutorial i'm only using some of the instruments here i'm not doing anything in reason other than using reason to give me the playback song that i'll be using for this i already set up my xr to to do what i want to do let me um put that aside for the minute um what you can notice is here i have all my channels this is let me take you this is my house mix which the audience is going to be listening to and if you see let me show you in my setup and my setup i'm using XR18 to bring all channels from Reason back in on my USB. I'm not using the two channel. However, that's in my audio MIDI settings. However, you would notice that in my in and out setup, because normally, um, the OBS would be looking for my in my for my signal coming on usb one and two for my signal so what i did in this regard i have my usb one and two route to my bus five and six which in bus five and six i have it um post fader and you will notice that in my bus five and six day link, I have it bus five is stream left, bus six is stream right. So this, this is actual music that is gonna be the signal of the band. This is being streamed over the internet. As far as my live mix, my live mix, I just have my fader set, the band is set, I'm not doing any files, gate, EQ, comp, um, sends anything. I just, just to show you where my inputs are coming in and what is happening. So right now I'm gonna go over to the meters and let's see, let me just play it a minute and see if I'm gonna be hearing it in my headphones so maybe I can uh, lower my headphones so that you can hear what I'm saying or probably mute the music.
Okay, so you can see that the music is going to the live stream, but it's only going on bus five and six. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna play a piece of um, the audio and I'm gonna mute bus five and six and you should see the signal disappear. Even though on my main, the music in the in the arena, the concert hall, or wherever I'm playing at the gig, is still playing. Just to show you that it's set up the way I want to set it up. In no way in a live performance, I would actually want to mute out what I'm sending over the internet unless there was a break or something. In term like a, a ad or some sort of advertising. So I'll put the music back on. And I'll mute my bus 5 and 6. And that will show you how the signal will disappear. So you can see that when I muted um, my stream bus, which is five and six, the audio that is going over to the internet is no longer there. So I have control over mixing my house mix, which are these faders here. Still, I also have control and mixing my mix is going out over the internet so I can create a complete different mix in terms of levels panning um, and that stuff for my mix going on what I would want to do however is once my main mix is songed in very good on the system I would want to mirror that same mix out over the internet to make sure that it sounds very similar to what is in my house mix. However, due to different compression on YouTube and Facebook, you may get a little different. So I would use a, a limiter to drive the signal up higher and maybe squeeze it a little bit or compress it or limit it a little bit to make sure it maintains a strong signal on over the internet. Let me um play the song again. Let's see where my meters are hitting here. Right now I have it set at minus 4.1 dB. So you can see my music is hitting right around here. Let me go back to my XA app. Okay, so since my music is hitting right around um, here, I'm going to employ a precision limiter that I already put on there to drive my signal higher going to my going to my output my stream output so I'll put the music back on to play and I'll be using my limiter and you, I want you to be looking at this meter here and see what's happening with this meter while I'm, I'm, I'm engaging the limiter. I already have the limiter on, just I have the input gain set to zero and the output gain set to zero. So take a listen and just watch as I move these things around and see what's what's happening.
So here's my level right now. Here's also my stream level. I think I'm, my fader is at zero. I'm not messing with this. So you can see by setting my input gain and my output gain, I'm actually driving the signal louder that's going to my um, my stream mix. And the purpose of that is so that I can have my mix go out over the internet at a, at a constant level that would be loud enough that would sound good whether it's played on speakers or it coming over iPhone it still would be up to a level that is is audible um as far as how I set this up I think there's lots of videos on YouTube of how to set up how to actually route this section of the routing here, let me move this across. You see I have my USB 1 and 2 going to my, my buses 5 and 6. Then I actually take the instruments that in my 5 and 6. Um, da, 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 da. let's see this is my stream so you see my stream mix is not going back to my mean out if that was going back to my mean out i'll probably be getting some i don't know if i'll get phase cancellation or what but my stream out is not coming back to my left and right mean that's the reason why you could see that this signal is here so even that I'm using uh, when I go to my my main output which is the house mix I can do whatever I want on the house mix and it doesn't affect what I'm doing on my on my um, my live stream mix again I'm muting my house mix my house mix is Right now it's muted. Okay, so the reason why you're still seeing that because I set up my this talk over to be able to come back to my um this so I could hear what I'm saying as I'm talking to you guys. So if you guys like this video, hope you like this video, hit me up. It's all about being able to stream the mix from my XR onto the internet while I'm gigging at the same time and have it distributed over the internet to maybe YouTube or Facebook while I'm actually playing in the gig and even though I'm playing in the gig my, I could set up my mix session that I'm mixing the band with and still have my streams my stream mix separate so i could tweak either mix from my xr18 without having to compromise either of then if i want to put more drums in my stream mix i can do that by just removing these here moving this i could set this whole mix up differently to my main mix 
But like I said, if my main mix is working the way I want, I don't have a problem sending that particular main mix out over the internet. I would just use my um, limiter, which is this one here, to drive the mix a little stronger over the internet to get the song loud, louder. I hope you guys like this video. If you like this video, hit me up. Peace out.